You're most likely to realize a dream if you create an environment in which it's likely to occur. As a medical doctor, Dr. Sameer Ibrahim is always on the lookout for ways to broaden her professional knowledge, and she's also keen to expand her personal horizons. This includes travel and fashion, and as you'll see, it's an empowering process for the doctor and her patients. The facade speaks of the colonial taste that characterized the 20s, but within the walls of this Hudson property, you'll find a free spirit who's very much a citizen of today's world. She's Dr. Sameya Ibrahim, and she was being instructed in the art of Tai Chi when Kriya strolled down to meet her. One of the things I absolutely love about South Africa is our culture to celebrate and support strong, successful women. Sameya Ibrahim is a wife, a mother, an adventurer, and one of South Africa's foremost gynecologists. Today, we get to know this mountain climbing beauty a little bit better. As a busy medical practitioner, Dr. Ibrahim believes that in order for her to offer her patients the best possible care, she has to maintain her own physical, mental, and spiritual health. And this is one of her parts to wellness. Is this a good time to interrupt? Hello. Samaya, how are you? Hi, thanks, and you? Good, thank you. This looks absolutely beautiful. Why did you decide on Tai Chi? I was looking for something to relax me and something where I could gain fitness and gain body strength. And what better way than meditation in motion, which is what my coach, Daniela, says. And remember, as well, Tai Chi can be used as self-defense, so nothing better than for the ladies. So for you, wellness isn't only exercise, it's also eating right and having the right mindset. It's very important for me to have my mind always in the right place. And with my busy days and how life gets so busy, I think this helps me just to tone it down a little bit. I'm going to share one of my smoothies with you. Well, I have worked up quite an appetite just watching you do some Tai Chi. What do you have in store for us today? I've got all the ingredients laid out for the smoothie. So what we have is banana for energy, oat bran to sustain our energy, chia seeds, which is a protein power punch, dates for sweetening, and also for energy. And we've got nuts, and I've got some dairy milk. So in goes the ice milk. Papaya smells amazing. And next goes in the banana, raw oats, not cooked, plain chia seeds. I just chop the dates up. I've got slivered almonds and we blend. I think that's it. It looks amazing. Let's see. So we'll take that off and pop that lid off. I like little bits of stuff in mine. Yes. So you will have a teaspoon with it. Two beautiful glasses of goodness. It looks amazing. So let me take you to my favorite spot in the garden and Let's we can enjoy this. these. Very good. This is an absolutely amazing spot. What makes it so special to you? When I sit here, I look out and I see fields of flowers. And for me, that's a very feminine space that allows me just to calm down and breathe. So your property here in Houghton is, it's quite got quite a history to it. It was built in 1931 by Sir Herbert Baker, who is the same architect who built the Union Buildings in Pretoria. And it's very special because it's one of the early buildings built during that period in the Johannesburg on the Houghton Ridge. And I like the idea of bringing in that history into my life, to respect the old and bring in the new and the new technology into the space. You've also managed to climb Kilimanjaro and a few other mountains. We had the most amazing time of our lives. After that, we climbed in the Andes, and then we climbed an active volcano in the Congo. We walked the Camino, and we've done many local hikes. Sumeya has also had the privilege of visiting the highly endangered mountain gorillas in their cloud forest habitat. So I don't want to keep you any longer because I know that you do have a patient today. I do. I've got somebody to see. So I'm going to let you wander around. Great. Thank you. I'll definitely do that. The property not only offers a tranquil haven in the city but also accommodates Dr. Ibrahim's practice. Having completed her specialized training in gynecology in the early years of her career, she spent several years in public medicine before moving into private practice. She constantly updates her knowledge and skills to keep pace with the latest developments and has a particular interest in endoscopic surgery, which is far less invasive than conventional techniques. 
Wow, sorry about that. You had to wait for me. Not a problem at all. How did you fall in love with medicine? When it got to matric year, I was watching a program on TV and I think at that point I was looking for some meaning to my life because I was going to change the world. I just didn't know how. And I watched this documentary on this woman doctor in Beirut and all the work she was doing. And at that moment, I knew that that's what I'm going to do with my life. Besides seeing patients, you also write a blog so that patients can get a little bit more information. How did that come about? It came out of the idea that I needed to extend the consultation beyond the consulting room. Because a lot of the time, I didn't always have time to counsel patients regarding specific health issues that they had or further information that they required for themselves or for their daughters. So topics that are topical or interesting related to women's health are on the blog. What advice would you give to other women that are trying to, you know, kind of juggle work and family life? Focus on yourself first. If you don't look after yourself first, then you can't do all the roles that you want to do and you can't be all the things you want to be. So self-esteem and self-confidence is quite an essential part of every woman's life. People make an assessment of you within the first few seconds that they see you. So for me, it's always important to be presentable and to look the best that I possibly can and also to interact with people in the best way that I can. It not only creates a good impression, but it also makes me feel amazing. I know that you do have a couple of outfits laid out for us today. Shall we go check them out? Sumeya is drawn to the colour and energy of Vanessa Gounden's London-based Vanessa G label and she is comfortable with a look that's contemporary and internationally accessible. Oh wow, look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? They are stunning. Tell me a little bit more about Vanessa G's collection. The reason I love the collection is because Vanessa always makes a social message with each of her collections, but she does it in such a creative way by using the most luxurious fabrics. Come and have a feel and the most beautiful attention to detail with the hand-painted buttons. So this collection comes from something called Endangered, where she focuses on endangered flowers and endangered wildlife. And this comes from another collection which is focused on a survivor's journey through breast cancer and using the most amazing gossamer laces that signifies transformation. So I love wearing them because when, if I wear them, I feel very feminine and very special. So I think we need to put you into one of those trench coats. Button it up. There we go. Blue shades are among her favourites and she has the accessories to match. You look amazing. Thank you. What message would you like to give to the young woman of South Africa? Don't be afraid. You can create whatever you want to and you can do anything you want to, but it just starts from within. Well, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I definitely feel inspired and I need to get myself one of those coats. Absolutely, you've got to have one. <laughs>